Is it legal to use a weapon to defend your home if it is unclear whether or not the burglar himself has a weapon? The short version is, it depends, but there's no specific law that allows you to use a weapon to defend your home, yourself, or anybody else. The long version is a little bit more complicated, so let's get into it. If you are called upon to defend your home, or somebody else, or yourself, or your property, there are various bits of law that come into play. You will have heard the term reasonable force, which is something we'll be using throughout this video. Self-defence, i.e. defence of yourself or another person, is governed by the common law, i.e. it has been decided in various cases of what the level of force should be and so on. Defence of your property, on the other hand, is governed by the Criminal Damage Act of 1971, which again refers to reasonable force. Arrest and the prevention of crime are generally governed by the Criminal Law Act of 1967. But what then is the difference with what you may have heard to refer to as a householder case? Let's take a look at the CPS website so you can refer to this. I'll link to it in the description below. A householder case is that which is where somebody is defending their home, but they are defending themselves or another person. You'll see in a minute why it can't relate to property, but they can seek to rely on the householder case defence, which heightens the level of defence that you can use in terms of the amount of force that is reasonable. It still needs to be reasonable force, but it's decided in a different way. Reasonable force in a householder case is that which is not grossly disproportionate to the circumstances that somebody that would otherwise be charged with an offence would genuinely believe them to be. That makes it different from just being out in the street. So ordinary self-defence, you're out in the street, you believe that you're going to be attacked, it doesn't matter if you're wrong, but you believe that you're going to be attacked. You don't have to wait to be attacked first to defend yourself. And so if you genuinely believe that the circumstances call for the use of force, and then the use of force that you use is considered reasonable on an objective test, what would an ordinary reasonable person think, then your self-defense is made out. And it's a full and it's a whole defense. If you're at home, and there's a lot more to this, but generally if you're at home, and someone comes into your home as a trespasser, they intend to, to burgle, to steal, or to harm you, or to do some other kind of damage, then there's a householder case defense, which means you can use a disproportionate level of force, a gross, so long as it's not grossly disproportionate, and it's still considered reasonable. However, many things such as whether or not you use a weapon will usually detract from your defence, i.e. it is much more likely to be grossly disproportionate if you've used a weapon than if you didn't. However, as always, it depends. There have been a number of different cases on this, some very high profile cases. There was Crown and Martin of 2002, where the defence of self-defence was rejected when the householder was charged with manslaughter for shooting an intruder shot him in the back with an illegally held shotgun. Contrasting that case with 2012, where the CPS decided not to charge a couple after a man was shot, uh, um, after a man shot two intruders with his legally held shotgun. Uh, more recently, you'll remember there was a 78 year old man who was initially arrested on suspicion of murder, who had uh, stabbed a burglar who then died. But as it turns out, the suspect uh, was armed with a screwdriver, forced his way into the man's kitchen, struggled, and so on, and, and then was stabbed and then, um, then died. Uh, it was decided then that he would not be charged, and the coroner decided that it was a lawful killing. So the cases do vary, but there's no specific law that says you may have a weapon you may use a weapon and it'll be fine. So you can't just rest on the assumption that you can use a weapon regardless of whether or not the burglar has a weapon. Even if they have a weapon, um, but you use a weapon and it is grossly disproportionate, 
then uh, the, the defense of self-defense is going to fail in that householder case, regardless of uh, the burglar having a weapon or not. And in making this decision, a jury will be invited to consider all of the circumstances to decide whether or not the use of force was grossly disproportionate, contrasted with an ordinary case where if the use of force was disproportionate, then it is not reasonable for the purposes of self-defense. So I'll link to that CPS website in the description below. But in the meantime, if you want to learn about self-defense and more about the use of force and how to use force that is reasonable in the circumstances, we are running a course in September on the 16th and 17th. I will link to that in the description below for you to sign up. And so with that, I invite you to watch the following video and sign up below. Here you come. I'm like, stand back, mate. You can feel it, can't you? Yeah, not yeah something there, yeah. Out of 90, just push the person back. <laughs> and I go low. Bang, straight in there. Look how I cut in. Look how I cut in and drag it down. Bang. It's definitely exceeded the expectations. Close quarter combat, self-defense. Yeah. Because if I grab there, he's going to drop back if he could, but he can't, because that's there, got it? Yeah. What? Yeah. Ah, I grab, bang, I'm on there. So now I've got the attack. Look at that. I'm leading that straight in. Yes? Yeah. You feel it, can't you? I'm feeling it, all right. Now. Is that that? Yeah, that's okay. so Now watch. He's, his brain is trying to figure out how to do this, how to stop it. So what I do is I move the body. Yeah. Now he's concentrating on landing yeah. rather than anything else. Got it? Yeah? You know? Law, lawful use of force, and um, weapon drill. What the Japanese do, you go for the can shooting, this is can shooting, to go to that movement there. Different there. Yeah. Yeah, no, I signed up for like a bit of personal development training. Um, this exceeded expectations and I can't wait to come back. So a good deck that could be fitted in in the time we had, so yeah, really enjoyed it.